Hi everyone, this is Bakari Shivani with Mac Automation Tips. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I've done a video. So I'm coming back uh, this time with a series, about maybe three or four videos, about one of my most used applications called SuperTab. And not only have I done a video before about SuperTab, but I'm gonna go into detail about how you set it up and how you can use it on your Mac and show you how it can be a quite a good time saver and even also add some automation tips along the way. So you definitely wanna to subscribe to my channel so that you cannot miss any, any videos in this series. So definitely stick around and check it out. Okay, so here we are on the um, SuperTab website, and it's supertab.me. And um, SuperTab, you know, has been around for several years now. I'm not, I, I know it's been, I think, more than five years at least, and I've been using it for quite a while. And I've written, you know, several, uh, a couple of articles on it from my website, macautomationtips.com. And I've also uh, did a couple of tip videos about it uh, for my YouTube channel. But in this particular one, I'm going to kind of walk you through in terms of, you know, after you download SuperTab and how you get it set up and how you make use of it um, in your daily day workflow. So, but anyway, on the web website here, it gives you some you know, overview of the features here. It gives you an introductory video, and I'm going to go into much more detail than this video does here. But it'll, it'll explain a lot of the features here that I'm going to kind of go over as well. All right. And in terms of the price, it is extremely affordable. Um, I think he has it down for like ten dollars or something like that. And this has been up there for quite a while, so he hasn't he hasn't really changed it here. Um, so you can do that. But there's also I have an affiliate link um, that's been up there for a while as well, and that would take the price down to eight dollars. So I mean, eight bucks. I'm telling you, after y'all walk you through this, you will see uh, why I say that it's, it's really worth the eight bucks. I mean, I, I think it's you know 25 myself but anyway um you can download it for a, th a free 30-day trial and uh and get it there as well so while you are wa you know watching my videos here you can kind of just you know just download it and go through the trial and if you like it then just go ahead and use my link to pay um you know for it and this would be just eight dollars so really great there he's been keeping it up for a while um and um and I'm going to say, though, honestly, there are there, there are some some bug issues in super, uh, that I found in SuperTab. And I'll explain what those are as, as I go along. Um, and that might be just for my particular computer. Um, I'm also going to follow with him about some of these bug issues there. But nothing major in terms of, you know, interfering with with my with my Mac or anything like that. So but I'll, I'll talk to you about that as well. So um, I want to take before I show you how SuperTab looks on my computer um, I'm going to show you how it might look when you download it um, it might be a little bit different when you download it in your Mac but basically you're gonna it's gonna open up when you open it up um, it's going to have some rows here and, and it's not going to be a lot of stuff in these rows but I'm going to tell you I'm going to show you how to add stuff to the rows and how to cu customize them and how they work there so it's going to look like pretty much like this um, but I'm going to show you how it looks on my computer here. So let me kind of get rid of this. So in order to, the way that I trigger, um, super tab is I go, I drag my mouse to the corner of the left corner of my screen. And this brings up super tab on my Mac. Now this is on my, uh, 27 inch iMac here. So I can have quite a few more rows here and I can make, I can kind of make the icons a little bit bigger. And I'm going to explain that in a second. Um, so that's how it looks here. And one of the reasons why I use SuperTab the most is because when my hand is already on my trackpad, or in your case, it might be your mouse, um, that means that I can, I can trigger certain things. I can open up certain applications. I can, um, you know, open up bookmarks, uh, uh, Safari bookmarks without having, you know, without having to go to, Super, uh, to Safari first. I can just open it up and and get it right there so so for example if i were to just tap this here right that'll just bring up that web page in safari and i don't have to go to safari open up the web page um you know to get to it it's just you know it's right there so i have several kind of um you know web pages that you know again if i just want to quickly get to them i don't have to open up safari first in order to do that 
So same thing with some of these applications. You have, you know, here's the row of the active applications that are ones that are already open. Here are some uh, utility uh, and documents or, you know, mainly utility applications or just other applications that I don't use. I don't have to open up on a regular basis, like say for Alpha 3, I'm not going to open that up too much here or ScreenFlow is, you know, usually always open, but just in case it's not, I, you know, I will open that up. Um, so these are ones that are, they're not in my dock, but I want to be able to quickly access them. Uh, same thing here, I have some daily tools here, uh, say for example, App Store, whatever, I'm not going to open that every day, but when I open it, I don't want to have to, you know, go into the uh, folder or even use Alfred to open it up. I can just, if my hand is already on my trackpad, I can just, I can just access it right here. So that's, this is the main reason why I use it. And you can have like, you know, you can create folders for different things and put different documents or files and things like that. And I'll go over that uh, in more detail. So, but first off, when you download SuperTab, what you want to do is first is you want to go into your uh, system preferences and open that up. Okay. And so bring it up here. And then you want to basically SuperTab will be down here for the third party applications and system preferences. And you want to open that one here. Right. And then, so once you go there, it's pretty self-explanatory. Basically what you can do is you can choose a hot corner for how you want to trigger uh, SuperTab if you want to trigger it that way. I use the, uh, the left corner here and you can use any other, other ones here. And then you can also use a, a keystroke or keyboard activation, uh, press option uh, tab or press command tab or double press command key. I, I never use these, um, these act, uh, key act activations. That's just not something I, I don't want to have to remember them and all that. So I don't use them, but you can. I have them, I have them uh, active, uh, you know, selected here, but I never use them. All right, on the other side here, you can actually um, trigger the voice control feature on the Mac um, using SuperTab as well. And you can, you know, sign it, you can sign it to a corner or you can use a certain keys here. Now, to be honest, this is the one of the bugs that I have found. If I were to, you know, in, you know um, activate this, you know, enable it, right? What it does is it'll open up the, the um, voice control um, you know, kind of um, application or whatever, a window, a little small window here, and it will just stay open, right? And I don't like that. Now, if, if I use voice control a lot, maybe so, keep it open, but I don't use voice control that much. I, I use um, I use drag and dictate, dictate, actually, and so I don't really use voice control. Maybe I probably should, but I just don't. So, but one of the things I found that is if I, if I enable it, it keeps this little thing, this little icon here open or a little application window open on my desktop and I can't get it to, you know, I can't get it to disappear. So the only way to do that, I have to quit SuperTab in order for it to, dis you know, to, to quit it out, to make this not be on my desktop. So that's the only reason why I don't, I don't use it. All right. So the second thing is you want to go, this is the most important part, I guess, is you're going to go to here and figure out how you want to customize um, your super tab in terms of the look and feel of it. So you can use the preview button to see how it looks. See, so we have it here. It's kind of this red, these red rows, and this is the size of it. But you can change it to a different color. So if I wanted to go to this neon orange here, let me see. So then it just changes here. I can change the opacity. So if I wanted to make that darker here, I can do that, right? I can change the width a little bit if I want to make it you know, bigger or smaller, right? And go here. So you see how much smaller it is. So it depends on how much screen real estate that you have on your, um, on your, uh, on your Mac there. And you can do that. You can also change the um, icon sizes here. So if you want to make them no larger than this and no smaller than this here. So you see, so it's a lot bigger now, all right? So you can adjust those to your particular liking. And then you have the uh, backdrop as well. You can change how much, you know, change the opacity. So if you, when you have super tab, if you don't want to have any kind of, you know, distraction in the back, in the backdrop here. So say, for example, if I want to do it here, right, it'll just co completely, you know, like, you know, hide the, 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 the backdrop uh, or the, or the, on my desktop here. And I can just have the, just total focus here. So you can do that. 
You can also change the, um, the, the color of the backdrop as well. So if I wanted to go black, I mean blue here, you see how it changes that, okay? I just kind of keep it, uh, I think I had it, I think I had it black here. All right, and you can change the blur and all that. So, you know, you just kind of play around with it in terms of how uh, you want it. Um, then you have these kind of name overlays that, um, and I, I just keep these enabled here. I think those are the little overlays that, that appear on some of these um, custom items here. So I just keep them all uh, enabled, all right? And then you can go to the options here. And the options you have here are, Say, you know, I want to have Super Tab. I have two screens, so I want to have uh, Super Tab uh, show up on both screens. If I, you know, to go to my second screen, it will open up there. And then also if I use the keyboard activation, which I don't, but uh, so the if I use keyboard, you can you can choose to say to have Super Tab open where the where the uh, mouse or the cursor is, or the uh, screen with um, the menu bar are always the main screen. So you can decide that as well, okay? Um, then I have here persistent Super Tab interface immediately upon activation. So it just stays open um, until, you know, while you have, until you can select it here, all right? Um, then persist interface if I move the cursor um, a do not persist interface. So that means that, I don't know what that means actually. Let me see. Um, I don't know, it always stays open for me. But anyway, you can play around with that. Um, I just leave them by, I think these are the defaults. So I just play, I just leave them there. And then there's also some keystrokes for how you, um, you know, you can navigate um, uh, Super Tab with these keystrokes. I don't use them there, but they're there for you. Um, if you do that, if you're a kind of person who kind of like to keep your hands on your key, uh, on, on your keyboard all the time, then you can use those as well. So that, that's pretty much kind of the setup of Super Tab. So this is the end of this particular part one of the video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to customize um, these, you know, I'm going to show you how to customize these tabs um, uh, and, and rows and things of that sort and show you what kind of features are involved with them. So see you in the next video.